Hey YouTube, welcome back to Homegrown Outdoors. So usually we review American made outdoor gear. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat, not everything on this table is made in the US. Some of it is, and I'll, I'll touch on that as we go. But uh, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different just because this whole ammo and reloading shortage thing has got a lot of people in a bad spot. And, I, and I'm gonna give you sort of six tips that I've used that I think can help you um, find ammo and find reloading supplies. This is, honestly is probably a little more reloading uh, centric, but uh, some ammo, some of this old pot of ammo too, um, without getting gouged. Uh, so I, the, the background here is I picked the worst time ever to get into reloading. I started reloading like three months ago, right in the middle of this whole mess. Didn't have a press, didn't have anything, no components, no tools, um, so, and it wasn't really out of compulsion. I, it's something I've kicked around for a long time and I just, for whatever reason, decided to pull the trigger. And as you can see, I really pulled the trigger. But um, so anyhow, I'm, I'm gonna sort of give you my secrets, if that's what you wanna call it, uh, to try to help you out because a lot of folks are getting kind of screwed over right now and that sucks. So the the first, it's, this is gonna be six quick steps. The, the first one is to try to have some patience and resist compulsion. You know, our culture, Amazon has tricked us into thinking that uh, the, the whole world can show up at your doorstep in two days. So we, we're just not very patient. And I'm personally, naturally, just not very patient. So, uh, just, you know, prioritize what you really need um, and recognize that we'll come out the other side of this thing and some version of normal will be restored and you'll be able to walk into Walmart and buy a box of nine millimeter whenever you want it. In the meantime, don't buy just everything you see because, you know, out of like fear and anxiety. And, you know, some of you are going to quit listening right now, but I, I'm just trying to be patient. <laughs> you, we're, we're our own worst enemy sometimes on this stuff. So um, the second thing, getting into more practical stuff, is to shop local. So I'm going to sort of walk you through you know, sort of, uh, some stories about how all this stuff came to be. So um, a good portion of this powder. Um, so those two, the Alliance stuff in the back, one of the um, Winchesters, um, that benchmark there. Um, what else? These primers and some of the bullets. Um, we're just walking, you know, going to, around to a lot of local shops. You know, I, I took a day, I had a day off in the middle of the week and I drove all over creation. I mean, I, I was in the truck all day, um, just going to, to different gun shops. I sort of, you know, scouted out and you, you're going to walk into a lot of them and see bare shelves. I get it. But, you know, shops that did, again, particularly reloading stuff, shops that did a lot of reloading stuff in the past, in my experience, I, I've had some some luck still being able to buy that stuff. You know, so if you if you've been in the game, you sort of know who who your strong local shops are. I'd start there, and you know, philosophically, I kind of like that idea. So that's the first one. Check out your local shops. Talk to them about what they're seeing. If they're able to get anything in at all, what kind of schedule they get that stuff in on, and and I think you'll have some success. So that's how I've gotten a fair bit of this stuff is, is shopping local. So that's number two. Number three is the opposite of that, shopping the big boxes. So because Cabela's and, and some of these other stores, Walmart even, um, because they buy in so much volume, um, you know, they're getting priority in times like this when, when, when stuff gets short. Um, so you, you just you know, talk to them, see what kind of schedule they are on, when they're getting ammo in, you know, it, it, it's a time suck. You know, you spend a lot of time running around to Walmart and Cabela's or whatever. But more on the ammo side, I, I think you can have some luck there. Just trying to figure out what the schedule is with, with the local bi uh, big box guys or, or not so local big box guys and take advantage of that. Um, the fourth one is sort of thinking outside the box a little bit. So um, all of those CCI primers came from a local auction house. A lot of these auction houses, because of the pandemic, have gone online. So, you know, you just sort of, they just have online auctions. Um, and you just, you gotta kind of figure out, they may very well require that you come pick up what you buy, you know, so I don't think you're gonna have much success shopping these local auctions across the country. 
but you know if you've got a few within a, you know a couple hours drive and you're willing to make that drive just sort of scout that out a little bit um classified ads you know not everybody out there is out to get you so you know i've seen some folks selling ammo and selling some reloading supplies you know you're probably not going to get a great deal um but you're not you're not getting hosed either um so think outside the box a little bit you know some of these things um let's see some of the dies particularly like the, the neck size and dies that decapping die those just came off ebay now eBay is all over the place right now, and there's some folks super, you're really gouging you there too. So again, you gotta exercise some due diligence and make sure you're not getting taken advantage of. Um, you know, and some of this has just been sort of paying attention. So that's a Forrester um, uh, powder measure that you know it, it was just in stock. Like I, I was just patient and sort of looked around that mech uh, press, which I, I, I just did a review on it. Might not, I'm not sure which one of these is gonna go up first. That thing's awesome by the way, and it is made in the US. That, I just happened to walk into a Cabela's and they had it, it's the only one they had, but you know, I managed to find it. That Frankfurt Arsenal not made in the US um, case prep uh, tool that uh, just came off Amazon, you know, and it was, it was in stock and sort of a normal price. It just took a little research and looking around. Um, so that, that's, you know, just look at a variety of places and, and, and maybe not all of uh, the, the places that you would normally think of. Um, five, and honestly, this might be the biggest one. Um, use these notifications on, on the bigger, um, and gun and ammo websites. So, you know, when you go onto an item at like Midway or Brownells or, you know, name all your other ones, Sportsman's Guide, Palmetto State, um, Natchez is over there. Um, you can set up notifications. Some of them work better than others. You know, I've, I've set up notifications with a lot of sites and have not heard a peep out of them. Um, I just got a notification this morning from Midway that uh, nine millimeter reloading dies, uh, pace setter dies had come in. So I just placed an order for that. Played, you know, normal price. Again, I'm not getting a super deal, but also not getting screwed out of two or 300 bucks like some of these jokers are doing on eBay. And that's just from setting up notifications. So in the course of as you're meandering around the internet looking for stuff, when you see something that's out of stock, don't just cuss and move on to the next one. You know, on Midway, it's one click. If you're signed in, you click notify me, and it does, and it notifies you. So um, those 40, those dies, those dies, so 40 and 223 both came in that way. The partitions, I've got a 308 and 300 Weatherby that I'm tooling around with. Barnes TSXs have actually been in stock with some uh, some um, consistency. Those Acubons, we've got a 257 Weatherby. Those interlocks, actually, I think those were just in stock, but these were all off notifications. Those uh, partitions back there for the 223, uh, the, those came off notifications. Powder, I managed to get, I think, three pounds of 748 that, that came, popped in off, off a notification from one of these sites. So set those notifications up. Like, I think that's been the thing that I've had the most success with in the last few months um, is just using those notifications um, and paying attention. And, you know, again, you can get compulsive there too. Don't just set up a notification for every, you know, 308 bullet there is because you think you're never going to get them again. You will get them again, but set up notifications for the stuff you really want. You'll get an email and, and you can buy it. The downside to that is you take a little bit of a beating on shipping. You know, the, all of the, 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 the Midways and Brownells, all those folks charge you for shipping. So you, I would say you lose some money there. Uh, but again, you know, try, try to sort of combine orders as well as you can to mitigate that. Six, and the last one is, and, and you got to be careful with this one, is using lesser known online sources. So I'll tell you, if you Google, you know, reloading supplies, you'll get, you know, a, a bunch of recommendations and, and you're not going to be very surprised by what you see. There'll probably be sites you're familiar with. If you use DuckDuckGo, which is a different search engine and it also doesn't track you the way that Google does, their algorithm works differently. Uh, so sometimes you can you can do some searches in DuckDuckGo and searches in Google and you'll get different results and you'll get pointed to different websites. Um, so try that as a start. Um, I found a, a company, I think they're out of, 
like Tennessee, maybe Wideners, W-I-D-E-N-E-R-S, Wideners Shooting and Reloading Supply. I don't know those guys. They didn't give me a dime. But I find them. I found them on a DuckDuckGo search, and they've had a pretty steady supply of bullets. You know, I'm not going to tell you they've got primers and you know, powder in the world's just peachy. But, I mean, they, they've had um, all those Spear 223 bullets. That's where that came from. And it was just off a DuckDuckGo search. Um, the Weatherby brass back there, by the way, that was just being persistent and looking around. I just want, you know, Weatherby was out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. And one day I was like, man, I haven't checked Weatherby in a while. I went in there. They happened to have 300 Weatherby brass. I bought them. And three hours later, they were sold out. You know, so some of it's just luck and, and continuing to look around. But on this, this last topic of lesser known online sources, you know, search with different search engines. Ammo Seek. You know, I actually didn't know anything about that until a few weeks ago. You know, Ammo Seek is a search engine specifically for ammo and reloading supplies. So it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, you can go in there and search a lot of different places with one click. You, if you set up an account with just a user, uh, email address and a password, you can save searches. So you can go back in there you know, every morning or whatever and sort of check your, you know, 223 ammo search or whatever you got going. The downside to that is they don't vet the companies that you get pointed to. So some of these retailers that you'll get, you'll see in, in Ammo Seek, don't appear not to have a great reputation. Now the upside is that there you can review um, the retailers in Ammo Seek. So again, if you've got that account set up, you can see you can see their ratings and read reviews. So just protect yourself. I mean, you know, people. Um, uh, some folks are going to try to take advantage of every situation. So if you're using Ammo Seek, I think it's a valuable resource. Just be careful about, do, do the research before you give somebody your credit card information. Um, and I would definitely sign up so you can read those reviews and see what you're getting into. And then lastly, who not to buy from is the clown that just sent you, you know, an invitation to connect in Instagram or Facebook. Who's, you know, uh, this pop up out of nowhere ammo guy, you know, with just pictures that look like that <laughs> of, you know, all this ammo that he allegedly has in stock because that guy's trying to screw you um, in case you hadn't figured that out already. So again, not, not great videography or production value here, but you know, I've, I feel like I've had some success at being able to get components and some ammo too, and not get screwed over and not get gouged um, in, in, a, in a difficult time with this shortage. So again, be patient, hang in there, things will straighten out. Hopefully this has been helpful uh, for outdoor, uh, American-made outdoor gear reviews. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.